Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 26th, 2016. And just as we filed a video report today on Asteroid 2009 ES, we have a meteor blast that actually touched down in Russia October 25th, 2016. We started to dig some information up, and this is our report. So we started to try to dig in and find out some information on this meteor blast in Russia. Now, once again, this meteor came out of nowhere. There was little to no detection as far as I know. Now, we've been trying to gather as much information as we possibly can, but sometimes getting information out of Russia when something happens is very, very hard. It seems that when instances like this happen, you know, I don't know if the media gets shut down, we don't get the information, but finally, some of the information about this meteor blast is leaking out, the videos are leaking out, and... We're going to go ahead and get right into it. We have the one video that came to us on one of the uh, blog sites, news channels. Let's just take a look. The meteor just came out of nowhere, flashing green. Now, I know the burning colors of a meteor is a sign of the composition of the meteor. And this one was reported to be flashing green as it came out of the sky. Could you even imagine driving down the road, just trying to get home, and all of a sudden, this huge green flash just comes out of nowhere, lights up the entire sky, and this meteor actually made land impact. It was out near a lake. We have not received any pictures, any reports, any notification on the actual impact site yet, but uh, it was one hell of a light show, as we can see so far. Now, there is another video that came out of Russia for this meteor. It was caught on some closed-circuit TVs and uh, some other cameras. I think this one is another driver heading down the highway, spots the meteor out of the uh, corner of his vehicle, immediately starts taking video footage, and the meteor just literally just comes out of nowhere, streaking across the sky. And uh, these meteors can be very dangerous, folks. I mean, we all know that. Um, I wanted to go back to the meteor strike that was in 2013. And once again, back in 2013, even with all of the technology that Russia has in their space program and in their science and their astronomers, they missed this meteor. Plain and simple. They missed it. And this was a devastating meteor strike. Well, not really a strike because it exploded over land and it did some devastation. There were about a thousand buildings that were damaged and I believe over 1,500 injuries from flying glass and debris from the percussion of the blast from this meteor. And let's watch this. Now remember, folks, that is sound wave percussion from this meteor exploding over land. That is not an impact back in 2013 in Russia. Those are sound waves creating that destruction. And I, I wanted to look further into what scientists and astronomers gave as an excuse for not detecting that asteroid, or that meteor, excuse me, because that meteor came right out of the daylight sky. Now, there's the impact site. It landed, pieces of it, in a frozen lake in Russia. That was the hole that was created in the lake from a small fragment after it exploded over the sky. But the excuse was, well, I'll just read you the headline here after the investigation. Here's why astronomers did not detect the Russian meteor ahead of time. This is back in 2013. Their excuse was not very technical. Basically, they said the meteor came from the direction of the sun. Therefore, their high-powered telescopes were not able to see it. So, folks, as I have said before, all of the mathematics, all of the astronomy, 
technology, all of that knowledge, sometimes it doesn't mean anything. And it can be absolutely wrong. And in this time, in 2013, in Russia, it didn't mean anything. And thank God, at that point in time, that meteor did not land an impact in the city that it flew over. Because as you can see in the video, that was a heavily populated area, multiple apartment buildings, business buildings, people driving on the road. And that meteor was approximately, I think they said 50 feet in diameter, traveling at over 20,000 miles an hour. But coming into the atmosphere, its speed was double at approximately 40,000 miles per hour. So that type of impact in the middle of a small city or even a large city would have been absolutely devastating. And you can clearly see what that meteor did just with the explosion in the air about 15 miles over land, blowing up the sound percussions, literally rocked Russia. Now, folks, as I had stated, witnesses saw a very large green flash streaking across the sky. And as I stated earlier in the video, meteors are made up of different compositions, metal, rock, things of that nature. And the green in signifies magnesium. Now, it seems since the beginning of September 2016, we've been under the constant threat of asteroids slash meteors. Now, as far as I understand, and from what I've investigated and heard, that all of the Planet X researchers have pretty much all stated that upon the entrance of Nibiru coming into our solar system, it would have to go through the asteroid belt, therefore deflecting multiple asteroids or meteors directly into our solar system. Now, naturally, not all of them are going to impact Earth or create a threat. But folks, the threat is definitely there. And science is missing these objects. And like I said before, are these objects a threat? Well, you bet your asteroid they are. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 26th, 2016. And just as we filed a video report today on Asteroid 2009 ES, we have a meteor blast that actually touched down in Russia October 25th, 2016. We started to dig some information up, and this is our report. So we started to try to dig in and find out some information on this meteor blast in Russia. Now, once again, this meteor came out of nowhere. There was little to no detection as far as I know. Now, we've been trying to gather as much information as we possibly can, but sometimes getting information out of Russia when something happens is very, very hard. It seems that when instances like this happen, you know, I don't know if the media gets shut down, we don't get the information, but finally, some of the information about this meteor blast 